Every human being on the planet Earth has 256 great, 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 great grandparents. Mm -hmm. How many of those 256 for you are Native Americans? All of them. And you know this how? Uh, because can't nobody prove. That we can't no, 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 no. Don't tell me what nobody can't prove. No, 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 you stated that I'm working with white folks and you can't prove that. You said you got white sympathy. You just said that. What the fuck does that mean? It's white people who sympathize. What do you mean? What does it mean? It's what does it mean? Who, 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 if, you're, if you're telling me that you got a problem with Africans, but you ain't got a problem with white folks, then you're not you're not really committed to liberation, brother. You guys are not serious. What are you talking about? Have the same brother. thing with your <laughs> No, but I respect you, brother. He's still brother. All right, yeah, yeah, we, no, we, we still, still brothers. Still brothers. I think we just got different ideology. So if you're talking about, and, and we can respect that, and and, 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 and yeah. I can respect that. Yeah. Like, but it, 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 it's like hard to be at peace with yeah. an ideology based on the division of African people. Uh, see, so look, when it comes to unity, right? Like, if I can accept the fact that I'm a different African, right, or I'm a how are you different, brother? Listen, the white man put chains on you, so now your listen, genetics listen, and everything is altered. Listen. Prince, if you're not going to recognize, you just, you just recognized all Why are you giving a white man so much power? Yo, you just recognized all these Africans with different cultural views based on your American experience. Yes, but it ain't based on slavery because all of them was now, a slave. The Haitians wasn't I, slaves. I have, the Cubans wasn't slaves. The Jamaican. I don't have I'm not smart. talking about no Jamaican history based on slavery. Apparently, I'm talking I have about based smart. on a unique it's culture that grew out of their culture. experience. So the Freedman ideology is based on what the white man calls you, what the white man did to you, oh, what the oh. white man thinks of you, <laughs> and ultimately what you want the white man to do for you. That's why I have a problem with your ideology. So, so listen, like you, you just gave Africa a lot of grace when you when you recognized it. He Africa. said a lot of grace. That's my Only mother. What you talking you about? Said your mother too. You said that they are impacted by colonial uh, oppression. Now you yes. Yeah. You didn't give African Americans, Black Americans, I mean, let's say what you say, American Africans, that same grace. You, you're not recognizing. You no, 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 no. I'm giving our people no. the same grace. I'm not giving your organization no, platform no, the no, same grace. No, you got to because I do not think you should be forging. I do not think you should be forging a movement. I don't think you should be forging a movement that identifies with your oppressor. Your oppressor's territory or your oppressor's ideology, oh, and that's what you're doing. There's the nothing authentic. Not say that, Umar. That's the problem. So that's the you're problem. reacting to white power. That's the okay, let me ask you this last question. What are y'all doing? You're not going to keep wait, 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 brother. You didn't listen. Be quiet. To me, listen, listen. What are y'all doing you just to make me better? better. Was... What are you doing to improve the reality for the American African family? that does not involve white folks, that's voting, that's reparations. What are you doing independently, self-determination, self-reliance? What is your organization doing separate from white folks to make things better for our people? Give me something. Yeah, yeah. So, no, I was going to say just respectfully, like, I got a little bit out of care because you kept cutting No, it's up. okay. Don't worry about that. Answer my Look, question, Brother Ernst. Yeah, I'm yeah. not thinking. So you asking me a question. I'm about to give you my answer. I'm involved in a number of things. That's including advocating on fucking like political. I want a specific, Ernst. Listen, Don't give me no general. I'm give me a specific it. project it. that your organization is working on that doesn't require us to beg from white folks. Give me one. So how about, so how about this? You come and meet us and work with us and stuff. No, 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 Ernst. Because you were good talking. Cut it out, Ernst. I love like, you, bro. I love you, bro. I want to point out my central contradiction with the African-American tribal groups. And that's the freedmen, the pretendians, the Ados, the phony black Americans, all of that. I don't see nothing being done for our people that doesn't involve begging white folks. I just asked Brother Earn to give me one thing he's doing that does not involve white people. He gave me no answer. So I got to ask you the same question, my love. Mm -hmm. What are y'all doing that don't involve waiting for white folks, working with white folks, or begging for white folks 
to make things better for black folks in this country. Okay, so me personally, I am against reparations. Okay, I don't believe that we need the white man to give us anything when we have our own land and this is our land. We can get it right here out the mud like we've been doing it, like our ancestors did it and everything else. We had segregation. We didn't need the white man. We had a bunch of stuff and we never had it. We was getting it before they came and we can get it when they leave. So I'm against reparations. I really just want them to leave us the hell alone. Just leave us alone because we, we have shown if you leave us alone and leave us by ourselves, we will rise. We will build the banks. We'll build the Wall Street, the jewelry stores. We'll get the oil, the cotton, the tobacco. And we'll get everything we need. So we don't need a European, a Chinese, an African, a Mexican, or nothing can to help us build what we need to build. So I'm, I'm not for reparations. I don't need no green dollar. We can get it out the mud ourselves. So I'm against that because when they give you something, they want something in return. And that's how we got in this problem in the first place. That's what the welfare system was all about that we chose to get into back when the, with the, the 60s and the 50s you know, the 60s and stuff like that. So I'm against that. But what I am going to say as far as these new groups that's trying to build that's, that's about being native to the land, right now we're just finding out the truth of who we are. And so that's the first thing. So we hear... And, and who are we? What is this truth now? Who are the we? truth is, the truth is, like your grandmama told you, when you asked her where y'all was from, she didn't say Africa. She said she was from right here. Like your great great grandmama told me, she, you guys are from right here. Because I'm gonna tell you something. That's a, so why don't so why don't we just do from Africa? Why don't we just do wait wait we ain't gotta argue that. No, hey, why don't you just do a DNA test and see if uh New Jersey come up in your blood zone? Uh, uh, let me tell you something. What's gonna happen? I'm gonna tell you something, Doctor Umar Johnson. What's gonna happen is well, when you do that DNA test, when you do that DNA test, hold on, wait, 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 w
from an earlier group of immigrants from the mother continent. That's and when you all say you're African, saying. you're saying you're an immigrant. When you say you're African, that means that I am not from this land. When you say you are uh, an uh, African American, uh, you're calling yourself an immigrant, which which says that you have no rights. You're no missing right. the whole point. You first of no all, first of all, first of all, I am an African, war. and my people are the first people to populate every land on this planet. I am the first in Europe. I am the first in America. I am the first in Asia. I am the first in the South Pacific. I am the first everywhere. Yes. I immigrated from Africa. You damn right. And I don't have a problem with that because Africa is the ancestral, spiritual, cultural, and historical homeland of my people. So yes, I am an African, but everywhere else I am, I got there from Africa. And that's what you self-hating indigenous freedmen, ADOS, FBA, and everything else don't want to admit. You're trying to run away from being black. Your movement is based on self Hatred and the love of white folks. No, uh, Dr. Umar. I love my. You went to France and you already it's, didn't like Africans. No, 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 that, that's not true. I swear to God, I swear to God, Dr. Umar. When I went to when I went to uh, Europe, that's the reason why I went. I was like, oh, racism, <laughs> killing over here. I'm tired of all of this that's going on in America. I want to be over in Europe. They, I think they, it's going to be better. Ain't no racism. Ain't nothing. I never no, know. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 stop. 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 Did I just hear you say you want to go to Europe? No, no, no. I'm telling you before. This is, this is, this is my ideology. Let you know that. Oh, I'm about to say, how you talking all this, uh, no, no, this indigenous was American this stuff and you want to work to the white man? No, 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 no. This is before. I'm telling you before I went to Europe. I didn't have any racist thought. I wasn't big uh, against Africans. I wasn't against Europe. I wasn't against nobody. I just was like, you know what? Right now, America is too much going on. Let me go over to Europe where it's a little bit more calmer. And when I went over there, I was shocked at what I saw. You know, what I saw firsthand living over there for two years. And I'm telling you my experience with Africa. It's a lot of Africans over there. My experience with the, uh, it's a lot of uh, Arabs and Muslims over there, too. It's a lot of Muslims over there, Arabs, Chinese, a bunch of people over there. So I, that's my experience. But Let's get back to the, the, the trans, transatlantic slave, slave trade. What so about you it? mean to tell me? Okay, we were saying before the transatlantic slave trade, but go ahead. Okay, we, 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 as, as far as a, a, on the business, because slavery was a business, right? Slavery uh -huh. was a business. APOW, African Prisoners of War. Okay, APOW. Okay. That makes, okay, it was a business. So just look at this as a business standpoint. You're a business owner, I'm a business owner. Okay, I'm going to go and get some Africans. For, um, this is what 1500s, right? And um, 1400, 1492, or 1400. Get some Africans, all right? Think about how many was sitting on that boat? About 300 of them on the boat. Strap them on the boat, put them, uh, put them, have them go through the Atlantic, which we know is a long voyage from Africa to America with no motor, okay? Then they're going down to the down to the uh, the Caribbean and all that, so they're going through the, the hurricane season and everything. We getting them down there, get them over here. They gonna be sickly, they stinky, they had no food, they had no drink, they been side by side, they funky. Now get them over here to a foreign land, which they know nothing about. I'm gonna have to clean them up. Uh, uh, I'm gonna teach them how to till this land, teach them about this land, just so they can till and some cotton and grow some vegetables that they can grow all in they in, in Africa, which is supposed to be the motherland, because Africa is supposed to be able to grow all this stuff too. Why would I take you from Africa and bring you all the way to another land and risk my boat sinking, you guys dying, being sickly, and bring you somewhere else just to pick some fucking cotton? It makes no sense. Why would I do that when there's people already on that land that knows how to farm and migrate that land? If so I if I understand your owner, question, I'm going to keep, I, I'm going to keep the <laughs> If I understand your question, Sakia, yes. why didn't the white man enslave the African in Africa instead of bringing him to the new world. Why would he? It, it makes no sense. Is that the question? Is that the question? Yes. Because if it is the question, the answer is real simple, sister. Why? Europeans were looking for new territories that they could control and offload their excess population. They, they were interested in building empire. Listen, 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 listen. Africa, for a long time, was ground that the European did not want to touch because he was afraid of it. 
He had oh. never investigated the continent. Why you say if you afraid? How you want to save the people if you afraid of them? How you because save when you, your people, you afraid of them. That makes no sense. First of all, when they finally came to Africa and began the slave trade, they were on the coast of Africa, so not what? in the interior. If you're no. going to enslave, listen. If you're going to enslave African people and build an economic empire out of it, you can't do that from the coast. You have to go in the inside. That's one of the reasons why they make deals with African rulers who would go and get the enslaved Africans and bring them back to the coast. It wasn't until Stanley traveled to the heart of Africa, into the Congo, and once he crossed the entire continent, he told the white, he told the white man, we can make it here. Africa was already populated by kingdoms that they would have to destroy, and the white man wasn't able to survive the climate nor the diseases of the mother continent. It was not feasible. It was not feasible, Nakia. All you got to do is read the history of European global exploration. He did not. Listen, he did not. Listen, Nakia. He did not start going into the African interior until his military technology allowed him to fight the African at a distance. Oh, Study the history of the military. The ones yes. on the coast. Colonists. There was no kingdoms on the coast. And the ones on the coast were the weaker ones. So they took the weaker If you're ones. on the coast, you are on the water, sweetheart. Do you know okay. what that means? Don't mean if I got to get the hell out of Dodge... I can get the hell out of Dodge. What I want to go in the interior for of a country I don't know anything about in a climate that I can barely survive? What are you talking about? Why did they bring Africans to America? Because the Native Americans knew the land too well, so they kept on escaping, and the white man was dying from diseases. Mm-hmm. So he needed somebody who could withstand those heats and those diseases. And that's why they brought us because we're the genetically strongest people on the planet Earth. Wake it up. He did go to Africa. Do you know that by the time slavery ended, he was already colonizing Africa, but he did not start there because he did not think he would be successful there in the beginning. Oh, my God. Okay, Dr. Umar. Okay. The climate of Africa was deemed unbearable by the Europeans. You can study this, sister. You don't have to believe me. Okay, that's You can study this. Christopher mm-hmm. Columbus was in Africa. He got mm-hmm. the map to come over here from mm-hmm. African brothers and sisters. He spent the whole week in one of the slave dungeons in Ghana, either Elmina or Cape Coast. And they teach you that when you go there. So they knew how to come to America because we taught them how to come to America. But they wanted to go to a land that they thought would be much more efficient to conquer and colonize. Mm-hmm. The white man wasn't about to go into Africa try to conquer and colonize. Okay. He didn't and do when, that when, until okay, after. So, so, so you mean to tell me when they came over here, they was calling us savages. And when they, when you, when they came over here, we've been fighting it. We gave them hell. And them we calling you a savage them. means we what? Just, we was fighting them just as much. What, okay, what battles have you seen the Africans fight versus the battles that we have fought? You see, we, we, we fought the way. Are you serious? Are you serious? Are you serious? Are you serious? Every kingdom in Africa just about fought the Europeans. Yes, they had a few collaborators, but most of us fought the Ashanti Wars, the Zulu Wars, the Ethiopians even beat them, the Zulus even beat them. The white man had to fight for almost a hundred years before okay, he could finally take Africa. The Seminoles fought. We all we we fought as well. Yeah. The Haitians fought. We you not no Seminole. <laughs> <laughs> listen, listen. We fought listen. just as well. You okay, so you a Seminole. But 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 how are you a Seminole when you can't give me the names? Of your 16 great great great, so you're sure you're similar, no, I didn't, I didn't but you don't even know the names of your 16 great 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 grandparents. How did you? We're Blackfoot. We're, we're Blackfoot and Osage. Okay, you're Blackfoot and Osage. Yes, How black many black of your 256 seven times great grandparents are Blackfoot and Osage? I can only go back to my great great great. And, and, and here's, the the here's the funny part. Here's the funny part. Here's the funny part. Your Blackfoot ancestors and your Osage ancestors. Have African ancestry as well. That's no, the ridiculous part. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. You can be from Africa and fight from Africa, but I'm gonna fight for America. You can go. To Listen to me. America. Your identity is I'm false. Your identity is false. Every African on the planet came from Africa. Anybody who tells you you was in America and didn't come from Africa is a lie, and they cannot prove it. The issue is y'all hate yourself. 
No, Y'all hate being black. black. We Y'all hate black. being That's African. And so what you're doing is you are claiming you're claiming an identity that somebody gave you on YouTube. You don't love because the land you, that you own, anything you is better. Land that you don't even live on, anything you is better. Food. Anything you is better than being an African. So you will claim this, this, anything they give you. You this is this land. You right? can't even name your ancestors your mother, your father, though. You ain't gave you me no names. What's going on? And you don't even love it. Sister, you can you give me some it. names you of your ancestors? What were the names of your Blackfoot ancestors since you're so Blackfoot? I you can't give me a name, sister. That's ignorant. My grandmother, my grandmother, my ignorant. grandmother, my grandmother, Ella, my grandmother, Sarah, my grandfather, Riley, my grandmother, Teresa, Red. Baby, we are Blackfoot in Osage. We are come, we come from okay. this land. We you're Blackfoot in Osage. And guess what? We Y'all go back to what date? Give me a date. Give me a date. And my we can, we we can take them back how far? We can take them back how far? I can take my grandmother back to the 1800s. My great 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 great. I mean, my great great. great, 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 great eighteen what? Eighteen what? Like eighteen twenty five. Eighteen twenty five. I can go back there. Okay. So where and, 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 and where were they before that? They were right here on this land. Ain't nobody been from no Africa. How do you know that if you can only go back to eighteen twenty five? Prove that they prove that they were. No no no. I need to answer my question. You told me that you can listen listen listen. You told me you can go back to eighteen twenty five. If you listen. You told me you could go back to 1825. Mm -hmm. So you can go back to Frederick Douglass being five years old. Okay, I got you. You can go back to Frederick Douglass being five. But mm -hmm. you don't know nothing about them people before 1845. And let me tell you why you, you don't know, know nothing about those people. Let me tell you why you don't know nothing about those people before 1845. They were they, thank you. Um, <laughs> thank you. There you go. Uh, there right you go. They were right here. There you go. Are you aware yeah. that Native Americans have African ancestors? Do you know that? Dr. Ubart, let me tell you something, Dr. Ubart. No, no, I need you to answer my question. No, no, I need you to answer my question. You didn't answer the question, Nakia. Nakia, are you aware that Native Americans have African ancestors? Yes or no? Are you aware? They have indigenous Americans. No, 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 I didn't say indigenous. I said African. Are you aware of that? Some, some may do, but mine don't. Okay, I need you to. Okay, okay. The problem is you're not well read, Sister McKee. Listen, listen to the Sister McKee. The problem is you're not well read. You need more historical education. I don't need no. Yes, you do, my sister. And the problem with a lot of you. Listen to me. The problem with a lot of you, McKee. Listen to me, Queen. The problem with a lot of you, young folks, is you get your education from uneducated. YouTubians. That's the problem. Wake it up. You don't need books by real scholars with real documentation. This is Dr. Umar. I, I don't know what you think I've been watching, but I'm telling you what my what my family told me. Right, but they can only go back to 1825. That's nothing. 1825 is not that's not history. You can only go back to 1825. Baby, that means you know nothing about. That's what my sister Nakia. I got everybody I over know. here came from somewhere else. And Sister Nakia, mm -hmm. you said it sounded like you were making an argument that slavery could not have happened because Africa is so close to Europe, and the white man didn't need to go to America to enslave blacks. He could have enslaved us in Africa. Are you leaving out the fact that the white man thought he was going to uncharted, uninhabited territory? Isn't that the reason they called it the New World? He thought he was going to a place where, we, where he would not have to fight in order to control and conquer the land. That's one of the biggest reasons why they came over to the Americas, because they thought they were largely unpopulated. And they could not handle the climate of Africa, and they knew Africa had standing kingdoms with standing armies, so they bought their time until the European military arsenal was strong enough to fight the African without having to engage in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Are you one of those Negroes who believe slavery did not happen? I do believe that. Oh, my you God. believe slavery did not happen? I do. I, do. I, do. I, do. I believe slavery. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have you gave that or what? You gave that or what? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I, I want to hear her. I want to hear Sister Nakia's she has a right to her opinion. Sister yeah, Nakia, why do that. you believe slavery did not happen? Right yeah. Because if slavery didn't happen, there was never no Harriet Tubman. No Frederick Douglass, which means I can't exist either because I'm from the same family as Frederick Douglass. I'm a belly. So that means how am I even here? 
But uh, okay. I want you to explain how slavery didn't happen. Okay. I don't believe in the transatlantic slave trade. I don't believe we were brought here on the boat. So Africans were not brought to America. I don't believe that. I believe so when you go to Africa, so, so those slave dungeons were made up. The ones that are, that are in Africa? They were made up. They, they must be. Because I believe, this, I, believe that, I believe that when they came to this land, when they came over to this land, and I have you have you read? Christopher Columbus uh, journal that he wrote back to I, I absolutely do. And you must and not have. Told, and you must not have. Them, because if you read and he told you, you found African people over here. A godly people. He, when he came over here, the people already here. We were already and, here. And did you read the description? Did you read what he said? Did you read what he said, Nakia? Nakia, did you read what he said? Did you read what he said? What did he say about it? What did he say about the people he found? He never said we came from Africa. He said that the people he found in the islands was American, excuse me, Columbus never came to America. Columbus came, Columbus came to the islands to the off Caribbean, the coast. Right, exactly. Absolutely. Vespucci was the first European to come to Columbus. Right, right, and who did Columbus, and what did Columbus describe the people, how did he describe the people he saw? He, he as dark-skinned people, no, and godly no. people, and calmly people. And you didn't give me the rest of the description. And how did he describe their hair? They was woolly and uh, uh, uh woolly and uh, yeah, woolly, woolly, woolly. Oh, <laughs> they don't mean and, that. And, 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 we may look similar, but we're not the same, baby. Then let's do the we're DNA testing. Let's see. Let's do the we're DNA same. test and see if you don't come from Africa. Nakia, can we do the DNA test? Can we do the DNA test? Nakia, can we do the DNA test? All that DNA is going to tell me that I'm from West Africa. I know. I don't need no DNA test to lie to me, and I know where I'm so, from. So let me ask you a question then. So, so, so you're telling me all that African history. This, this All that African history of African princes and African kings and Africans who went back to Africa even during slavery, mm. Africans who fought and sued for their right to return home, mm. all of that is manufactured history. She said it's a lot. I don't believe it. Can she stop talking? Because I promise No, hold on. And let me, let me. She's so long. I'm like, I'm so great. We're going to, people, like, all the people are asking. Listen, you guys need, but listen, you guys need to the other dialect. You can't just, you can't just be like. Are you taking up a lot of space, Joe, man? No, no, no. I'm telling you, there is a, we are waking up. We are waking up over here. We're realizing that we're not coming. African, you say, the reason why the you're waking up and finding out you're not from Africa based on what documentation? What is your proof? You ain't getting me no proof. You told me grandma was Blackfoot. You ain't getting me no proof that you did not come from the continent. But I'm telling you, we can take a DNA test and prove that you came from the continent. Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> I love you, Queen. Lord have mercy. My God. Thank God for coming out for the day. It is actually sick. It's really it sick. It's and you know why it's sick, Dr. Goddess, before you continue? It's sick because young people are being influenced. Young people are being influenced by these social network self taught fools. They're not scholars. They have, I'm not talking about you, Sister McKee. This is not about you. But the people who have informed you, these people are not scholars. They've done no original research at all. Everything they got is from the internet, or they might have read a few books, and they are on a crusade due to their own self hatred to try to convince all African people in this country that you did not come from another continent. And let me tell you what makes that argument so sick. The sickest part of the we ain't from Africa argument is the fact that damn near every people of color on the planet traces their origin to the continent. This is the sickest part of it. Japanese, Chinese, Mexicans, Arabs, everybody traces their origin to the mother continent. So of all the people in the world, 
There's only one group in the entire planet who will argue you down that they don't come from Africa. And, and you want me to believe it's a coincidence that it just so happens that these people were the most psychologically terrorized of any people in human history, and that is the American African. Is it a coincidence that we are the only people who will claim we do not come from Africa? We're the only people of color on the earth who will argue we don't come from Africa, and it just so happens we are the most psychologically traumatized group in human history. And that's exactly why they're pushing that. 